First and foremost, we must uh, accept the real fact that well, not all is well. There is a lot of uh, that kind of uh, going either under the ground or under the table and what have you, and which is unfortunate because the consequences then are certainly very, very, very worrying. And I think that, well, it is very, very, very important that we come to a point whereby efforts can be made to make sure that uh, uh, corruption is certainly kind of uh, done away, uh, away with. Because, you know, when you leave a seed like that to the future generations, then the country will go even into worse situations. And that is why I think that, well, first and foremost, yes, the government has a serious responsibility to kind of really handle that. But I think that even we, as the, the, the Christians and as the, 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 the ministers and so on, we have a duty to kind of really do what it takes to help our people to understand the gravity of uh, the matter. We are confident that well, a day is going to come when this malice can kind of be done away and done away with. When something is not right, it is not right. And uh, efforts must be made to make sure that well, we keep away from what is uh, uh, not right or to what, keep away from what is evil. Because the moment you kind of cover up and so on, then you can be sure that the damage is done. And uh, to uproot that damage is not the easiest of the things and so on. So I think for me, it is helping the people to kind of uh, um, live authentically their own identity. Because to be or not to be, that is the question. You cannot be and not be at the same time. I, Joy Kesenwa, as a Christian and a Kenyan citizen, wish to commit myself to fight without tiring the grave evil of corruption. I, Rose Achiego, as a Christian and a Kenyan citizen, wish to commit myself to fight without tiring the grave evil of corruption. <laughs>